I'll guide you through how to download and install Sodium onto Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's jump right into this. So firstly, quit Minecraft. After you've quit Minecraft, you then need to go and open up a web browser. In this case, I'll use Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you'd like, and then go to a search engine like Google. And what we now need to do is go and search for sodium. So type it in S-O-D-I-U-M and then add Minecraft as well because other things may pop up. And what you want to do is go to the ModRinth website, the second result here. Now, as you can see, we can now go and see all these different versions. And what you want to do is just go, I like to go and get the most up-to-date version anyway. You may, may want to get an older one for some reason. But what's the important thing to know is, is that the version that it actually supports. So as you can see, it supports 1.20 to 1.20.1. And if you didn't know, we actually need something called Fabric to run Sodium. So basically this is telling us the version of Fabric we're going to need. So go and click on it like this, and then you can go and tap on download. And once again, to the right, it's also telling us the game versions. So now that we've downloaded Sodium and you've gone and noted the game version, once again, it tells us on the right here. So either we need 1.20 or 1.20.1, we can now go and get Fabric. So let's open up a new tab and then go and search for Minecraft Fabric, just like so. And I'm gonna show you how to install it. So make sure you come to the official website, which is Fabric MC net once you're here go to the top and tap on download and then just go and click on download for windows like this once you've downloaded the installer you also need the fabric api so on the download page you can also go and see this option here for fabric api click here this is going to go and take you to curse forge this is sort of a minecraft mod website and then what you want to do is just go to the right of description click on files like this. And I like to go and get the same version as Sodium. So as you can see in this case, this is 1.20.1. So we can go over to the right and tap on download file like so, and it should automatically start shortly. We've now gone and downloaded everything. So every browser is slightly different. So I always like to go and find my downloads in my file explorer. Here we are in my downloads folder and here are the three things I just went and downloaded. The first thing we need to do is run the fabric installer. So go and double click on it like this. And what we now need to do is go and choose the Minecraft version. So as you noted, when we went and downloaded Sodium, we went and saw that I downloaded the version for 1.20 and maybe a newer version for you. So therefore I'm gonna go and install 1.20 or 1.20.1 as that is what it was um, supporting. But as I said, make sure you go and install the version for your Sodium as I showed you on the website. Then what you want to do is just leave the lo loader version. It's already found the install location and make sure create profile is selected and hit install. It doesn't take long at all. It's already finished. You can go and close it like this. And then what you want to do is go and run Minecraft. So go and open up Minecraft just like so. On the launcher, make sure Minecraft Java is selected. Then go to the left of the play button and make sure you select fabric loader like this and then hit play. Click on play just like so. And what we need to do is just go and run fabric for the first time. So it's now just gone and loaded just like this and now it's loaded we can then go and quit off it just like so. So now go and open up your file explorer again, go to your downloads and you need to go and find the fabric API and the sodium download as well. So I've got these both here and what I'm going to do is just go and drag them onto my desktop just like so because we're going to need to move these into our mods folder. So I'm now going to go and close off the downloads file explorer and then what you want to do is go on your keyboard and just press on the Windows key and the R button at the same time. And this thing called run is going to open. Alternatively, you just can go and click on search and type in run as well. And then you'll get to the same place and you need to go and type in percentage app data percentage, just like that. Yours is probably going to be blank or say something else. So type that in and click OK and your file explorer will then open it again in the specific location. And what you then want to do is click in dot Minecraft. And then what you need to do is scroll down and locate the mods folder. This should be generated when you go and run fabric for the first time. If it isn't here and you can't find it in this location, just right click and you can go and press on new and then you can create a new folder and just call it mods like this. Go and open up this folder and then what you need to do is go and drag sodium and the fabric api in just like so and that's it you can then close off this folder and you need to go and open up minecraft again and it will now be installed on the minecraft launcher make sure fabric loader is selected and then you can go and click on play 
and then I'll go and show you sodium. Now here we are in Minecraft and as you probably know, sodium goes and optimizes our performance in Minecraft. So if I go and pause the game like this, we can go into our options, then video settings. As you can see, we actually go and get different settings um, and it just looks different. And yeah, it's a really useful tool, sodium, and you've now got it installed. So if you found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.